Hello my lovelies, so I have got a little makeup haul for you today, it's just some bits and bobs that I have picked up, but yeah, let's get cracking with it. So I have already done a fashion video as well on like the clothing bits I've bought, so you can pop back and see what that one was and what I got, I got some really new cool bits, so yeah. Anyway, one of the first things I picked up was, everybody knows that I use the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water, and it's got the pink lid, but they've recently out one with a green lid and I saw it and I was like I don't care what it does but I need it um, and it is the Garnier Skin Naturals Micellar Cleansing Water it removes makeup, purifies and mattifies no rinsing um, and it is for combination and sensitive skin so as soon as I've used up my pink one I'm going to be using this one so I'm really really excited to try it out I don't know if it's going to be any different for my skin because my skin is sensitive and I am prone to acne and eczema and stuff like that so I cannot wait to try that one I thought I would treat myself and get myself some new hair products. One of them has just leaked on my leg because I got it out of the shower. Okay, so I picked up the... Right, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this properly, so we can all have a giggle. Umbitio Gananigani? I'm dyslexic. Sorry. Umbitio Ganani. I don't know, anyway, it is Mend My Hair Recover Nourishing Damage Repair Conditioner Looks like this and it's a lovely packaging I like this but what I don't like is that this looks all tacky and horrible on the inside They should have just put this as all silver or just clear plastic rather than this manky yellow I don't really like that but this is amazing I have used it a couple of times, it makes my ends so soft I know my hair probably looks like it needs a cut because believe me it does but yeah I do really like this and you're supposed to leave it in for three to ten minutes and so I normally do it for about three so I put that in and then I like wash and shave and kind of stuff and then rinse out so that's really nice and then I picked up these and I've always wanted to try the Tony and Guy shampoo and conditioner range but I never have and I don't know why because I've tried so many other ones so I picked up these so I picked up the Tony and Guy um, cleanse shampoo for fine hair gives you volume and body i don't have fine hair but i have a lot of it and it's really heavy um so this seems to do the job and it makes it a kind of little bit more fluffy and stops it from like sitting and falling um and just sticking to my head as much so i really really like that i think these were 8.99 each but they have got like a three for two thing on on their hair care well they did in boots but go and check it out and then i picked up the tony and guy nourish conditioner for damaged hair and this is a limited edition one looks like this i loved the packaging to be honest i think that was pretty much the only reason i got it and it's for damaged hair which obviously mine is um yeah so i picked that up that smells really nice but my favorite scent out of the two or all three of these is this one it smells amazing and they just make my hair feel really nice oh quick question for you guys I'm thinking when I get paid in a couple of weeks about having a proper like I've got ombre already obviously I do it myself and I'm it's getting blonder but I want silver ombre and I'm thinking of having it about as high as I have got it already but I'm gonna go to the hairdressers and get silver ombre comment below and let me know what you guys think of the whole silver ombre kind of thing on me I really like it I want something different with my hair because everybody and the nan has got ombre hair so I just fancy something a little bit different so the next thing that I bought was some stuff from a top shop. Now Natasha got me into the top shop makeup recently. Um, so you all probably know Natasha because I've done a video with her before. Um, but yeah, it's Natasha Summer and her uh, like YouTube is on my channel page. So go on there and she's on one side so you can go check her out. Um, but uh, I picked up some bits from top shop. I picked up the Eyelaw Brow Ink. I've heard a couple of people talk about this. Um, and I really want to try that Anastasia brow uh, pencil, but I thought I would give this a go because eyebrows are a big thing for me. I love eyebrows. I love penciling them in um, or filling them with like, eyeshadow and things. I'm always up for trying something new. But this is like a felt tip applicator. It was £8, so it wasn't all that expensive. But if I can get it out of the packaging, it looks really cool. And I'm quite excited to try this out. Oh, hang on, I've got to try and get it out of the box. Oh, okay, so it looks like this. It's this lovely kind of blue, navy blue matte packaging. So you have got one end that's thin and it literally looks like a felt tip pen. And then the other end is a fat one. So I'm guessing like this is for that side and that's like to, I don't know, draw hairs in. But I'm quite excited about trying that out. I have no idea what it is going to be like. So I will keep you guys updated on it if I fall in love with it. I will do a little review of it on my blog. I'm intending to do like a um, 
like an eyebrow heaven post and like a like a contour love kind of post on like different contours and like eyebrow stuff that I've tried because they're like my favourite parts of doing my makeup at the moment. So yes, um, that will be up on my blog, I can imagine soon, but I can't wait to try it. It was eight quid, so it's worth giving a go. I've always wanted one of these for years and years, and I finally picked one up in Topshop, and it's the EOS Lip Balms. Um, so everybody knows about these cute little things, and I got mine in Sweet Mint. And they've recently brought out loads of other flavours, and they've got loads of them on an Urban Outfitter, so go and check them out if you do want to try some of these. They've got um, Vanilla Mint and all sorts of other cool ones, So and they've brought hand creams and stuff as well on Urban Outfitters by EOS, so definitely worth giving a go. I cannot wait to try this. I'm so excited to have my little EOS this lip balm and it was seven pounds so it was a little bit pricey but they're meant to be good so why the hell not then i got two lipsticks they are what does that say matte lips and this just says lips okay so i got one of these because i heard somebody i saw a picture of somebody on instagram with it and that was boardroom um now i went out and got myself a brown by mac which i will show you in a minute because i wanted a brown lipstick something a little bit different and then i ended up buying three god knows how it happened but it did so i got boardroom um because somebody mentioned it on instagram and i went and got it and it's this lovely brown so it looks like this, it's kind of like, I don't know, like a mocha colour I would call it. Um, I think it's going to be, oh my god look at that, it is gorgeous. It's really moisturising by the looks of it and it's not going to be like a really bold kind of colour, it's just going to be like a little bit of something something. But I really really like that and I can't wait to try that one. And the next one I got is in this colour, is that Sashi? sashay away i don't know um but it looks like this and it is like another kind of brown it's a much deeper brown than the other one that i've got on and it's got like a red undertone to it so it looks like that that's that big one there so i cannot wait to wear both of these i think brown is going to be like my new kind of favorite lipstick color i don't know i just really like it i always consider brown a bit like an old lady color or for somebody with darker skin tones but yeah, I can't wait to try it. They just look really exciting, so. Okay, so the lipstick I am wearing is my new one by MAC. And every time I go shopping, um, I go and buy myself a new MAC lipstick. And this one is in Verve. Um, it's not a colour I've ever heard anybody speak about, but it kind of stood out to me because I really wanted a brown. Looks like this, I've got it on. It's really, really nice. It's quite similar to that Topshop one, um, but it is different. Da, da, da. There we go looks really nice it is a satin finish so it's really moisturizing has that really lovely mac lipstick smell almost like cocoa buttery but yeah i cannot wait to wear this one i am so excited to wear it all the time and i think it's going to probably be in a favorites list at the end of this month my february favorites because i think i'm going to be wearing it a lot but i do really like it i'm really really pleased with this I also went to the body shop they had 40 percent off recently so i picked up some fits I picked up this shower gel and it is a mango and we all know that Satsuma is my favourite shower gel ever in the whole world. This one smells so fresh and so nice so I can't wait to give that one a go as well. And I picked up one of my favourite night creams and it is the Tea Tree Blemish Lotion. Um, that I, I just put this on my face every night if I'm having like a really bad breakout or it's like that time of the month and my skin's playing up. So yeah, I've been using this and I love it. I swear by it. If you get a lot of breakouts and things at night, your skin is when it's resting and it absorbs a lot of um, moisture and anything that you put on it. So it's the best time to treat your skin. So I've been treating my skin with this bad boy and I love it. Okay, the other thing I picked up from the body shop was the Vitamin E Nourishing Night Cream. I use this and my skin loves this, especially when it's dry. It helps my eczema massively. And I bought a pot of this ages ago and used the whole thing up and I've been meaning to rebuy it since. So this is a must as well. And I also picked up this. I'm always interested in trying like new under eye, um, like moisturizers and things like that and i've got the benefit one and i've got various other ones but i picked up the vitamin c eye roll on and it's got two sides so you've got one side um which is this side that's a little rollable and that goes like all up and around your eye and then this side is to help treat the underneath and it's kind of like a cream so i really like it i've used it a couple of times i've been really impressed with it, it the cream does make my under eyes 
like feel a little bit burny almost but I do really like it so I can't wait to keep using this and if I love it that much you might see a review on my book of it guys thing is da 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 Lush woohoo so I popped to Lush, it's one of my favourite places to go when I go shopping um, and I got chatting with one of the girls behind the till and she put me on the thing to invite me to loads of their blogger events which was really nice so thank you very much and her name was... I don't know actually, it doesn't, I don't think it has her name on the top it says Plonk Plonk Fizz so if you're Plonk Plonk Fizz from the Southampton Lush store, thank you very much for being really lovely and giving me a free bit. So I will start off with the thing that she gave me for free. I was on my way home and I, my friend Chloe was like, oh, let's have a look, see what you got from Lush then. And I said, hang on, what's this? And it says, on the back of it, it says, nice to meet you, which was so cute. So thank you, Plonk Plonk Fizz, if that is your name. Um, it's what it says on the top of my receipt, so I'm guessing that's the person that served me. I don't know, from the Southampton store. So hi if you're watching. Um, and it says, I'll pass it forward, we've put something extra in your bag today just because we thought you'd appreciate it. It cheers us up to carry out random acts of kindness. We hope it will cheer you up too. And feel free to pass it forward and carry out another uh, random act of kindness of your own. This was so lovely. I was going through my bag and I thought, hang on, what's that? I'm sure I didn't pick that up. And I thought I could smell something floral. So thank you so much for giving me a freebie. It really made my day. My phone died and I couldn't like get into contact with anybody or anything. And I got really in a bad mood because it takes me quite a long time to get home. So, but this really cheered me up. So thank you very much. And it is the floating flower bath bomb. Get tangled up in a floating floating fusion of colour. Sink into the bath with this bath bomb and watch the exquisite shades seep through the water as the fragrance of sensual jasmine and yang yang fill the air. Suitable for vegetarians. So yes, this smells really floral and really nice and I cannot wait to use it. So thank you so much for that. That was really, really lovely. I also got, most of this is the Valentine's range, I also got Heartthrob which is um, like one of their macaroon styled ones and it looks like this, there's a little pink heart with lots of glitter in it um, so that'll make a nice mess in the bath and my mum will love me for it so I picked that one up and then this one I'm really excited about because it is mahoosive, it is Love Rocket and you can use it in two baths but I probably might just treat myself and use it for one um, we all know, as you guys might know, my boyfriend is um, quite far away because he's at uni. So I will be spending Valentine's on my own, which is sad. So, But I'm going to be treating myself and having a pamper evening with a bath. So I paid to have Love Locket. It's bright pink and... Oh, mine doesn't rattle. Some of them rattled. Bugger it. Um, but yeah, it's got like another heart inside so you can crumple off the first layer and then use the second layer another time. But you like whack it on the side of the bath. And then you get like your first like bath use, but I think I'm going to use the whole thing because I fill the bath up like right to the top. Then I picked up the unicorn horn, which is really exciting. I can't wait to use this. I just thought it was really girly and a little bit like, I don't know, quirky. Oh, some of the stars have come out. They're in the bag. So it looks like this. It's all glittery. It's really pretty and it's got little stars in it. So I believe this is a bit like a bubble bar. I think it's like a bubble bar, so I can't wait to use that one. Um, she gave me um, a test set of these sparkle toothy tabs. Um, so she gave me, I believe, four of these. I don't know. Yeah, she gave me four of these, and they're like the little toothpaste tabs because I was really intrigued by them. So I can't wait to give those a go. They seem really interesting, especially if you're like on the go. And I got... Um, Big Blue, which is one of my favourite bath bombs, and my body just loves it so much. So it looks like this. It's big, it's blue, it's got seaweed and salt in it, so it helps to exfoliate your skin, and it helps with um, my heat rash and like ingrained hairs and things. And I just really, really love having a bath with this one. It smells divine. So that's exciting. And then the last one I got is actually what the lady recommended. So I thought I would buy it and it is Sakura Sakura um, and this has got like sea salt and stuff in it as well and it's not one that I've tried before so I'm really excited and oh my god 
it smells so good wow and it looks like this it's got lots of little like green bits and pink bits and blue so it's like multicolored. so i'm excited to try that one right okay my lovelies so that was it for my haul on my beauty kind of stuff i hope you enjoyed it if you did then give it a thumbs up for me because it lets me know that you did don't forget to head back if you haven't seen it already and watch my fashion one i have got all sorts of videos coming up so do keep your eye out for them which is quite exciting but yes thank you very much for watching and i'll see you soon don't forget to subscribe bye my lovelies <laughs>